Alright, we're back from vacation finally. I know it's been a long couple of weeks. Uh, we were just getting our minds right and, you know, trying to forget about all the backlash. But we're back from vacay. Carter, what do you got to say? We'd like to formally apologize for some of the upcoming clips as the quality is not not the best, but you know, we, we wanted to get this episode out, so thought we'd just go with it, so. Yep, like Carter said, we, we're gonna formally apologize now so we don't get some more backlash, but if you guys can bear with us this week, we'll hopefully fix that for the upcoming episodes, so. Yep. All right, we want to welcome everyone to a brand new segment on Trojan Time. It's going to be called Trojan Time Chopped, so we're going to be cooking some food. Yeah, and go, make sure you go vote on our Instagram. Uh, tell us, you know, how often you want to see this and maybe even what you want to see us make. Carter, got anything? I don't. All right, there we go. So we uh, got them to try our pancakes. We got the Fruity Pebble Deluxe, I'm going to call them here. And then we got the Cinnamon Roll Strudel pancakes here. So we're going to see which ones are the best. Can we add syrup? Yeah, you yep. can add whatever you want. Anybody want this one? I think we'll go for the better yeah. syrup. <laughs> I've never had that syrup. I don't, I've actually it's never... from up north. I'll let stuff, you start with this. This stuff's so good. Good stuff. <clears throat> Come on in. Yeah, that's good. A treat guys. Watch out for the rawness. <laughs> they, they look fluffy. <laughs> Am I just in time? Maybe. Fruity Pebbles. Yeah. Fruity Pebble Deluxe right there. I like it. I would crunch. not have thought about putting Fruity Pebbles in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not bad. Mm -hmm. We've got fine sprinkles and we have the crunch. Mm hmm Get the crunch to it. So what would you guys rate that one out of 10? Oh, yeah, try that one first. Oh, yeah, I gotta try it. Sounds good. We can't pick a winner until we have the third pancake in here. And this There's one more. is called what? This is a cinnamon roll with like a strudel on top. Water to cleanse my palate. Huh? I know. <laughs> I got that. But no, it, it cleans the taste out. Mm. Cinnamon. <laughs> What's the no, topping? Uh, it's got cream cheese, butter, uh, vanilla butter. extract, butter milk, sugar. powdered sugar. That's good too. Different texture than the first one. Yeah, yeah. we should have. I should have made ours a little thicker and it would have been a little. All right, the third and final taste test. They have pancakes made by Sierra. Sierra, what kind of pancakes are they? Pancakes. Plain pancakes. Like a buttermilk? Yep. Oh. Nice and fluffy. Mm-hmm. Like a brown to, to it. Not overdone. Not raw. No, not raw. Yeah, these are good too. This is gonna be tough. I think we should have them make breakfast every day for us. So now we have to rate them? Yeah, if you want to give a final rating and. What, one, two, three? I think one, two, three will be easier, won't it? Probably. Is that what we're thinking? If you want to do one, two, three, you can do that or best out of ten, however you guys want to do it. So the cinnamon roll for me was number one, and then this one is number two, and then the fruity pebbles, despite the flavor, and it was really good, is number three. <laughs> I'm actually going to go with the fruity pebbles, number one, because I like the crunch and the flavor to it. And then I think the cinnamon roll, and then the regular. I like the regular too, but I like the spicy, change it up. Um, for me, cinnamon roll was probably was number one. I like the cream cheese frosting and the cinnamon. Um, number two, fruity right. pebbles. The creativity there. Good job, Alex. Um, and three would be 
the regular pancake, but they were they were all good and they each mm -hmm. had different consistencies and I don't know, it depends what we're rating on. But flavor wise, that that's my choice. Yeah, you guys all did a good job. Great oh, thanks, job. Guys. All right, thank you. You guys want to give a word for the winners? Uh, yeah, uh, me and Carter stayed up all night preparing these. Um, <laughs> it was a grind to make these. Uh, really, really appreciate all the votes. Carter? Yeah, you know, it was tough, but we, we pulled it off in the end. You know, it was, it was a dog fight out there, but came through for the dumb. All right, uh, welcome to Orneville High School's uh, Halloween costume uh, competition. We're gonna go see some Halloween costumes. All right, so we're here with uh, Sean Dwyer. Sean, what are you for Halloween? I am an officer of the law. <laughs> so, being an officer of the law today, what are your duties? Uh, make sure the school is safe and everyone is respectful. I'll arrest you if you ain't. All right, we got Officer Sean on duty today. All right, we are here with the sixth graders that are dressed up for Halloween. So, if you guys all want to introduce your costumes. Mitch. I'm a duck. Okay, and then out of you three, who do you think has the best costume? Me. So the hippie wins out of you three? All right, thank you. <laughs> so we're here with some of the fifth, fifth grade boys down here in the elementary. Why'd you guys choose to be football players following? We like football. I like football. I guess. Um, and who has the best jersey out of all you guys? Me. 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 I don't know, him. the Vikings him. won. Him. The Bears and Packers lost. Him. So. Him. Him. There you go. Right, Justin you. Fields is cracked. All right, we're here with the fourth grade class, and what are you guys dressed up as for Halloween? A strong man. Mal from Descendants. I'm a hippie. All right, and out of you three, who do you think has the best costume? Me. Really? <laughs> Me. All right, so the hippie wins this one. <laughs> what are you dressed up as for Halloween? You know what? I'm 17, so I'm not dressed up as nothing. I'm out of that phase, you know? <laughs> That's a great answer. Who do you think in the high school has the best costume? Personally, I think Sean Dwyer has the best costume. He's a pretty, pretty good looking uh, cop in my opinion. <laughs> All right, thank you. I have to agree with that. What's KJ thinking about? All right, so I'm here with KJ. KJ, I gotta know, what are you thinking about? Well, I am glad to see you back in action. Trojan times, right? Yeah. Right now, I'm a little panicky about all the students that do not have their work done for the end of the quarter and that that happens on Mon Friday. So get your butts in gear. Now. Right now. Yeah, what KJ said, get. All right, I am Ginge the Weatherman, otherwise known as now your gamer connoisseur. All right, so gamer obviously everyone knows about the new release of Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Uh, we're going to give a brief discussion about how that game's going. Ginge, why don't, why don't you go first? You know, I feel like you would know a little bit about this. It's pretty fun. Um, I, I really dislike the people. <laughs> Um, I would have to agree, it's pretty fun, but the metas are absolutely broken and ridiculous. Uh, shotguns and M4s are, shouldn't even be in the game. Um, get good, use a different gun, I don't know. That one sniper without the scope is pretty cracked, I'm not gonna lie. Um, that's pretty annoying to die to. Um, I'm still confused on how to unlock half the stuff, but you know, I'll figure it out. Mm, yeah, it's been pretty fun. Yeah. There's been lots of naughty work said, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I would also agree it's pretty pretty difficult to figure out how to unlock certain things. You have to unlock 6,000 other guns just to get this one single gun. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, it's, it's quite the grind. Bowl 15, baby. <sighs> a little bit of a sports recap. So to begin, I'll start with cross country. So the cross country team participated in 11 total meets this year and their PRs coming for Jacob Close at RCW with a time of 18.07. Trent Eastman with a time of 1919, also at RCW, and Ashton Tollickson coming at a 21 even at RCW as well. And then Cody Claypool had a PR at the conference meet as a time of 1855, and Lucas Claypool had his PR in sections with 1959. <clears throat> All right, I'll be talking about the football season a little bit. Uh talk about some leaders for the team. So for our quarterback, we had Carter Brown. He threw for 307 yards, five touchdowns. 
Uh, for rushing, we have Dante Fetters, 134 attempts, 1,172 yards, and 13 touchdowns. Uh, receiving, we have Dante Fetters, 10 receptions, 203 yards, and two touchdowns. And then kick return, we got Nathan Gustafson with 23 returns and 72 yards. And then also on defense, Nathan led us with tackles, with probably about 75 or 80 tackles. I don't know who had the most sacks or anything, so. All right, for volleyball, we have uh, Kendall with 41 aces, Olivia with 308 digs, Emma with 28 blocks, Lily with set assists at 169, and then a Caden with 150 kills. All right, we're here with Jacob Close, the uh, lone senior on the cross country team, and as we mentioned before, Jacob had an 18.07 PR, so you want to give us a little bit of a rundown on your season? Uh, it was a fun season, hate to see it over, but... Uh, we had some success with winning the Renville meet. We placed fourth in the set or fourth in the conference, twelfth in the section. We went out, gave it our best at sections. Didn't have too much success, but oh well. We all ran good races. All right, perfect. Thank you. All right, so I'm here with the defensive leaders for the volleyball team. Um, Olivia here had 308 digs, and Emma had 28 blocks. So. Obviously, you guys had a long season. What can you tell us about the season? Maybe even talk about your stats, maybe a little bit. Um, it was a pretty good season. We had a lot of fun. Um, I like averaged around like 17 to 20 digs each game, and yeah. All right, Emma. Um, yeah, like Olivia said, it was a good season, and I averaged probably like one to two blocks per game, so that's decent. <laughs> There we go, talk with our defense specialist. All right, so I'm here with the offensive specialist for the volleyball team. We have Kendall leading the team with 41 aces, uh, Lily Hartman with 169 set assists, and Caden with 150 kills. So obviously, like I said, like people get a long season. Can you tell me a little bit about the season? You go first. Oh. This is the microphone. Why me? Um, you go first. You are left and right, you just go. Um, I don't know what to say. Um, She's speechless. It was that good of a season. There's no words. <laughs> I mean, the games we won, we swept them. I mean, that's pretty good, right? <laughs> it was a fun season. Um, we got a lot of wins compared to most seasons, so that was nice. And <laughs> we beat some teams that we haven't beat in a really long time. So. Yeah. All right, there we are, the offensive specialist. <laughs> All right, we're here with the Trojan football stat leaders, and they're going to give you a little bit of a recap on their season. Yeah, it's been a pretty good season. You know, it wasn't quite as long as we expected, but it was still fun. But... We had a few unfortunate games that we lost that we should not have lost, and like Carter said, we ended our season a little earlier than we all expected, but nothing we can do about it now, so we just move on. Yeah, uh, the record didn't end up as good as we wanted it to, but uh, a lot of those games could have been uh, changed with just one play going our way. So, yeah, I suppose. Go team. Go Trojans. All right, thank you guys. All right, we want to thank everyone for watching this week. I'm Hunter. I'm Dante. And I'm Carter. And this has been Trojan Time.